Hello everyone! Thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to use Canva presentation in Zoom. So let's get started. Of course, you're going to have to download and install Zoom on your PC. Then sign up or log in to your Zoom account. Uh, the reason why you need to sign up or log in is because if you won't do that, you're not going to be able to start your very own meeting. So go ahead and sign up or log in first. But before we start talking about Zoom and the things we need to do here in Zoom, let's make sure that our Canva presentation is all set. So open your presentation design in Canva first. And here on the editor, you'll have different options as to how you'd like to present your presentation. So just click on the present button right over here and choose any of the options from over here. You have four to be specific, but if you're going to use Zoom, then you'll only be needing three of them. The first one, the second, and the last one. You don't really need to record your presentation because you're already in Zoom and you can actually record your presentation from there. So we're going to exclude the third option for now. Um, let's go back to Zoom. And let's try to start a new meeting by clicking on the new meeting button. So a new window will open. This will be our meeting window. And so here we are. In order to start presenting, we're going to go to the toolbar below. And depending on whether or not your Zoom meeting window is maximized, the buttons you're going to look for might be in different places. If your window is maximized, just like in this case, then go to the toolbar below and click on Share Screen. It's pretty easy to see as it's in the middle and it's also the only button that has a different color. So once you click on it, you'll have different options to choose from as to which window or tab you'd like to share. But if your window is, uh, we're just going to close that, but if your window is minimized, just like in this case now, then you're going to have to click on More. And from the drop down, you're going to select share screen and you'll see the same window that we saw earlier. So this is where you're going to choose which um, tab or window you'd like to share. So we're going to click on our Canva tab and we're going to click on share. So now it's started sharing our Canva tab. We're going to go to our Canva tab now. So we're going to click on present over here and we're going to choose present full screen for now. Then we're going to click on the present button. And now we have started presenting. You can navigate through your presentation by using your um, keyboard arrow keys. Just like that. Or you can also use your cursor or your mouse right over here. So if you want to go to the next slide, click on the right side of your presentation screen. And then if you want to go back to the previous slide, you can click on the left side of your presentation screen. And while you are presenting, you've got a bunch of other tools here on the lower right that you might find handy. So I'm going to explain it to you one by one. We're going to start with the first button here and it's uh, a three dot button or the more button. So if we click on that, we'll see this drop down with different options. So you have share remote control, timer, start autoplay, but we can also talk about the autoplay presentation option later on. You have hide magic cursor. You also have hide live edits. So just select any option here that you need. Next, we have the zoom button. So if you want to zoom in, you can just slide to the right. You have at least 1000% of zoom capacity. And if you want to go back to normal, you can just click on fit. 
um, just like that. And then we have the magic shortcuts. So these are just special effects and they also have corresponding shortcuts. So you've got B4 Blur. If you want to blur your presentation, then you can click B or click here. You also have Q for quiet. This is going to be a useful tool in case you'd like your audience to be quiet for a moment. You've got bubbles. Okay, it needs to stop now. You've got C for confetti. You've got D for drum roll. It's a good way to build suspense. You've got U for curtain call. You've got mic drop. And clear to clear everything. You also have interactive Q&A with Canva Live, but I don't think you're going to need that since you're already presenting on Zoom. So we're going to click on, oh, by the way, open presenter view. If you click on this option, it'll open your um, presenter window and audience window. It will separate it, I mean. So let's try it out. So as you can see here, we've got the audience window. It means this is the uh, window that your audience will see. And this is the presenter window. So this window is just for you. Place it on the screen only you can see, such as your laptop or a fallback monitor. So anyway, um, this would actually be useful if you've got a wide monitor or if you've got two monitors, something like that. And the uh, good thing about the presenter view option is that you can navigate behind the scenes. So in order to move to another slide, you don't have to continuously click, click, click. You can just uh, jump from one slide to the other. And I think it's a lot cleaner that way. And I think since we have been routed to the um, presenter option, and we're just going to exit presentation by clicking this um, X button here so that we'll be routed to our Canva editor. And basically that's it for uh, full screen mode. Next we have the presenter view. I think we already talked about that shortly. So if you click on presenter view, it'll automatically open a, an audience window for you and your presenter window. So next you've got autoplay. So for autoplay, it's going to automatically play depending on the duration you've set um, for each of your slide. So we're going to try that. For example, um, if you want to change the duration of slide number one to a specific um, duration, so you can click on that slide and go to this um, button right here uh, next to the um, clock icon, something like that. If you click on that, you have a box here where you can input how many seconds you'd like your slide to play. So we're just going to have an example, maybe five in this case. And if you want to apply the same duration to all pages, then you can toggle this on so that it'll save you time. But if you want to set different duration for each slide, then you can also go ahead and do that. So we're going to try it out for page number two. Um, I'd like it to be, what about just three seconds? Same goes for page number three. Three seconds. And we're going to click on present again and click on auto play. Gonna click present and as you can see it's going to automatically um, navigate itself according to the duration we've set for each slide.
And basically that's it. We're gonna click out of this now, exit full screen mode. So, okay, I think this is it. We're gonna stop sharing now. And yeah, we have stopped sharing our presentation. By the way, in case you'd like to record your presentation, you can just easily uh, click on the record but button here on Zoom. Recording in progress. And it'll start recording immediately. So if you want to record your presentation and your Zoom meeting, then this would be a, a helpful tool. Uh, if ever you stop recording, you can just click on either pause or stop recording. So you have two options here. You can either pause it or totally stop it. Um, we're going to stop it. Recording stopped. And the recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. And when the meeting ends, your recorded meeting file will be automatically opened by Zoom so that you'd be able to find its um, location on your PC. And by the way, if your window is minimized just like that, and if you want to record your um, Zoom meeting while your window is minimized, you can go to More again. And then you can click on record on this computer. Recording in progress. And it's going to start recording. And if you ever want to stop, go to more again and click on stop recording. Recording stopped. And once again, it'll be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends and it'll just automatically open. It'll automatically be opened by Zoom. And basically, that's everything you need to know about presenting in Zoom. And the Canva presentation. I'm just going to end this. So I'm going to click on end and meeting for all. So as you can see, our meeting video has been converted to MP4 and right here, Zoom gave us the um, Zoom opened the uh, location where our video files are stored or located. And basically, that's it. That's everything you need to know about presenting in Zoom and everything you need to know about Canva presentation options. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to show your support. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a good day.